Capricorn, quick recap because I recorded your entire message and it got deleted. Essentially, you guys are coming out of a really hard time with Pluto having been in your sign and Mercury retrograding through your 12th house is going to enlighten you all on receptivity, how receptive you are from spirit, the messages that you get from spirit, how much you are clinging on to ideas, people's notions, um, ways of getting around in your life, of feeling like you have forward momentum that kind of eats you up inside. And we want to make sure that we, def I think I put the cards on top, yes, we are taking the time to share with the world what we've learned. The seven of water is indicating to me Saturn stationing direct in your third house of Pisces. So your soul will know exactly um, how far to take things. Um, what you have to do to start receiving these messages from spirit. You got release the petals. So this might be um, a way of holding on to like cultural identity, um, familial values, values that no longer align and they don't actually give you that romantic fulfillment in your life that you can give to yourself. And trust me, a lot of this, even though it might be challenging, it's like we have to realize, okay, good. Everything is on top of the deck still. So. Um, what we need to give to the world, we need to have this receptivity to. And if you've ever done an extensive hike, I did one just the, the other day with my husband, 15 hours, rigidity and tension does not move you forward. Sinking your breath with your movement moves you forward. And while we take in the air, we give out CO2. So we're restoring parts of the plant and animal kingdoms with our breath and with our forward movement. I feel like it's just so special to have some time in nature. Um, this full moon in Taurus that we're coming out of on the same day is just like a, a stack of things that gets swiped out of your life is any power control issues that you might have had. So ways that you might have kind of manipulated things or controlled circumstances to make sure that you got what you needed. Now we need to approach it from a different way that is free liberating, um, exciting, and Pluto in your second house now, as it's in Aquarius on the 19th, it moves there, zero degrees, zero minutes, um, and Venus in your sign, it feels like what you have to work with, your foundations, your values, your the value that you have for yourself and that you bring out into the world, um, they're going to be a lot more heart aligned, a lot more heartfelt, and you guys will feel safe to balance out your heart with your mind, giving and taking, understanding that it is okay for you to need people, but just not in the ways that you have them on a string and you kind of make them chase whatever it is that you've got, you know, suspended in midair. Um, we'll also have an opposition on Saturn day, the 23rd, with Saturn at 12 degrees Pisces and the moon moving through Virgo. It's going to be at 11 degrees for the time I pulled this, so overnight. And you might come to find, because Mercury is stationed retrograde and the sun is in your 12th house, that you start getting messages. The first 10 degrees, the sun in Sagittarius, so from about the 21st, 20th through to the um, 29th of November, you're going to have a lot of inner messages. We'll go over it next week. Um, but we also have... Neptune and the North Node, giving you your your chance to really move forward emotionally and to feel emotionally sound in your daily life, in your inner life, um, sound to create, sound to do things without knowing about what the outcome will be, not needing to control the outcome because you understand that each step forward, each breath is giving more to a cycle that will make you feel more connected to your life, to the people around you, to the people, places, things, and events that you might have had to try to control, but it's like things, it was like sand slipping through your fingertips. And the best way to move forward is to understand that you don't have to give up. You just have to focus in on what feels really reciprocal. What do you walk away from where people aren't questioning or you aren't questioning, you aren't left questioning essentially. Um, there will be forward momentum. And it feels like with Mars in your eighth house, um, in this upcoming Mars retrograde, it's going to help you guys to get out of any emotional and romantic tangles that you might usually find yourself in. You might find yourself kind of like going, things are going well, you found someone, you met someone new, or it's with work. It's with 
some sort of outer world circumstance or familial. Things are going well, things are going good, but then it's like things kind of veer off track. The first part of getting back on track is knowing when we've gotten off track. So let's look at the moon before we wrap up the summary because I already did you all's reading. Um, it's like 20, 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so the moon starts in Gemini and ends in Virgo. So from your daily life, when the moon crosses over Jupiter, it might be like the final hiccup if you like are purging or something and then you'll have to just tend to yourself. You're going to have to need, you're going to have to need to give yourself breaks and rest. If you can only take like two naps in a week's time, you will come to see that you feel a lot better. And what I've found is that from the disparity between my life before I met my husband and my life when I was like living in New York, month to month, week to week on paychecks, like the difference in my health, the difference in my clarity, the difference in my focus, my purpose, and my voice is so radically different. And it's the level of care that you give yourself, no matter what you choose for your lifestyle, it's all about how you feel. So allow for your feelings to rise to the surface. We know cancers have a lot of emotions. The moon changes signs every two and a half days. Capricorn, when you come to acknowledge these emotions and you don't stuff down the intuitive hits from spirit, you have to kind of tease them out, work on them, journal. Even if there aren't conclusions, this week alone, get out your journal whenever something interesting happens, something curious happens that you're left kind of scratching your head about and see how that moves your story forward. It's going to be very non-linear. Check out your 6th and 12th house reading. Until next time, Capricorn, check me out on TikTok. Find me on Instagram. I'm writing now about the moon's transit every two and a half days. I am Bambi Rose. All of my aloha.